Have you ever felt confined by the space you exist within? Do you ever feel the desire to break free from the boundaries around you, or the need to spread your wings to fly away and start a new life all over? As an artist, these intrusive thoughts are a daily battle for me. The idea of contentment isn't so easily achievable. I find myself wondering if the grass is really greener on the other side, which has led me to wonder if the people in my community could relate. So often we get lost in the hustle of everyday life that we forget to pause and honor our roots. I live on stolen Blackfoot land and my city, like any other, has its fair share of issues. Within this community, there is much work to be done. There is prejudice and privilege that separates us when we should be supporting our fellow humans. However, I know that while there is strife, there is still beauty. And I believe that by listening to the land that we live on and by listening to others, we can begin to heal. So we must continue to learn from one another in order to find our own voices. And whenever you can, search for the music in the wind and dance along with the birds that fly high in the sky. Lethbridge is known for a few things, one being the giant high-level bridge, and the other being the fact that it's extremely windy. However, I feel like Lethbridge doesn't get enough credit for its art scene as some of the other major cities in Canada. Um, and because it's a smaller city, I think that artists tend to feel as though there's not enough resources or room to grow. Sometimes there's not enough support for people to really explore their passion, um, which is sad because it makes a lot of artists feel like they need to move away. So this project was really meant to support local artists and help them develop their craft and promote their work and also bridge the community together and foster a space where people felt inspired to create. So to highlight filmmaking and merge that with the storytelling and dance and performance, working with local musicians and bringing sculpted works to life, it was such an honor. Um, I was able to work with so many different people and learn from so many different ways of life and ways of being. And uh, yeah, we, these crow skulls, that keep coming up they kind of became a whole motif for this project and I think that they communicate something about how there are struggles with creative work being vulnerable and putting yourself out there can be scary but also it's so rewarding when you finally do break free from that fear and start to foster a community and have real connections with people and it's motivating in and of itself to create like that. So it's such a beautiful experience to bring this story to life through movement and music and celebrate the talent within the community.
I think art is such a powerful tool that can really help people learn to evolve and grow. And so I really wanted to be able to cultivate this community and add energy to help propel this community forward and not just stop there, but, you know, shine light back into the community, show all of the hard work that's been going on behind the scenes and give people a chance to gain new perspectives and learn from the artists themselves and kind of hear what this scene is like here. So it was really important to me that we documented all of our work leading up to putting on a showcase for the community to come out, support local artists at a local venue. And I hope that can be a call to action to keep this energy going beyond this community. Thank you. What do you think? Super inspiring. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know. Like, yeah, as a lot of bridge artists, like, I thought it was fantastic to see what everyone else had to say. Yeah. yeah I really, I really love the uh, perspective that you brought to the table through everybody's interviews. Oh, well, thank sure. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm gonna record you. What do you think? Amazing documentary. Yeah. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. I really did. We really. loved it. We loved it. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being here. What do you like about it? Personal. It was what? Personal. Personal, very personal. Yeah. True perspectives <laughs> from the artists. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It reminded me of what the women in Southern Alberta was all about. Okay. It was interesting. It was interesting. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's interesting to hear like um, the different musicians from Lethbridge and surrounding area kind of give their input on uh, what they do and then what needs to be done. Um, I like how there was like a decent focus on like the Aboriginal community as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was neat. And it's a lot of like I knew a handful of the artists, but like not all of them, so it was neat. And I liked the different perspective of not just like music, but then also like dancing arts and like visual. of like the artists in Lethbridge, so this was nice because it was like a great introduction to be like, oh yeah, there's artists in Lethbridge that are like pretty well established. Yeah.
expecting that when you came here today? <laughs> Oh.